G'day guys, it's Ben from Coastline RV and uh, welcome to another segment of Tech Talk. Uh, once again, if you've got any suggestions or information that you would like us to provide you or run you through, please send them into our Facebook page or give us an email to sales at coastlinerv.com.au. Uh, but today we've got a few different products here. We're going to talk about security, uh, in particular coupling locks, uh, hitch locks, and then uh, also wheel clamps. So starting with probably the two most popular couplings on the market, um, just an example with your uh, override coupling here, but 50 mil ball coupling and our uh, locally manufactured DA35. Uh, in regards to coupling locks, your 50 mil ball coupling, uh, been around for a long time guys, so starting with something as simple as just a coupling lock. Uh, now the coupling lock will work by um, basically the insert at the bottom of the lock here, uh, feeding into the bottom of your tow ball. Uh, so these ones here in particular have got two different stations. Now in the old days without the weight distribution hitches, the second or the higher station which is locked in here would have been able to give you the ability to lock the coupling to the car whilst towing. So if you do pull up at a shopping centre or a car park, uh, nobody could disconnect your caravan and basically uh, push it back and drive away with it. Uh, so basically that's, that's your entry level for the 50mm ball coupling. Uh, retail somewhere around the 25 to $35 mark, depending on where you're getting them from. Uh, next of all, we move up to uh, something like your Kovex lock. Now, this is a multi-purpose use. Uh, they have an alarm built into these, so uh, they will fit a DA35 or a 50 mil ball. Uh, the good thing about the alarm is obviously, if it's triggered, it's gonna make a lot of noise and attract attention to your van if somebody's trying to steal it. So once again, this little behold here, simulating the uh, the tow ball sitting inside the coupling, uh, and for the DA35, we've actually got the ability to remove the ball and sit the lock vertically, and this would simulate your towing pin. So obviously the, the bottom of the lock this way. Uh, this is a stainless product. Once again, runs a little lithium-ion battery pack in the bottom. Uh, so uh, eventually, obviously, we'll have to replace that. Uh, so that's that's your Covex lock going to suit both of them. Uh, you've also got uh, Cruise Master's own lock, so we sell quite a lot of these. Uh, the buy lock, I'll just pop this away, we'll get to that one. Uh, so the buy lock simulates your towing pin in the DA35. I like the buy lock because we can still use our waterproof cover, uh, the dust cap on the top of the DA35. So your the buy lock basically is going to sit into the middle of the DA35 here. Take this off, simulating the towing pin. So. This would drop down underneath, locks on, your dust cap can then go on the top and the bottom half of this buy lock basically just sits on the pin at the bottom and the waterproof dust cap goes over the top. So uh, they're the two main ones that we like to see for the DA35. So the DA35 uh, buy lock, you're looking at about the $140, $45 mark. Uh, and the Kovalex lock, uh, remembering that it will suit both, either a 50 mil or a uh, DA35, somewhere in the $199. Uh, I'll just pop this floor back on there for you guys. Now, we can start something very simple. It's not really a lock, it's just your pin for your hitch or your tow bar. Most people have these, okay? So you, it's always handy to keep one of those as a spare if you lose one. Uh, then we move along to our lockable hitch locks. So you've got a uh, an arc hitch pin lock here. I find these are probably the best multi-fit uh, hitch pin lock on the market. I don't have too much trouble with them getting hung up. Whereas your similar locks, whether it be Hayman Reese or Arc with the square locking receiver on them, uh, can get hung up and can be quite hard to fit to some of the vehicles, especially with the 50 mil receivers. Kovex have got a newer one as well, guys. Similar sort of thing. Not as bulky as the, um, the Arc or the Hayman Reese ones. Not bad either. These guys are ranging from somewhere around the $30 to $45 mark. And last but not least, we've got our Treg Lock for the off-road coupling. I don't have a Treg coupling here at the moment to show you, but it's just a polyblock coupling. Um, and instead of having an arc clip or, or a retaining clip on the bottom, they have a little keyed lock, which stops somebody uh, basically getting the pin out. Okay, now you can use these whilst you're driving uh, and have the vehicle locked. Uh, the next thing, of course, is uh, if you want to double up on security, you can have a coupling lock and a wheel clamp. Imperative that they know that you know the size of your tire guys and the size of your uh, mag wheel or rim uh, So bring in a photo is probably the best thing phones are a great idea guys whenever you're coming to a shop like us Provide photos it makes the job very easy for us and helps us to diagnose quickly 
what your issue and your problem is. Uh, but yeah, wheel clamps available in, uh, somewhere in the $99 mark, all the way up to about three or 400. Um, so we, we prefer the Purple Line product. They're about 265 and they suit most of the off-road vans. I think it's up to about a 17 inch. Um, but anyway, guys, that's about it for the first segment of Tech Talk. Uh, so we look forward to many more. Uh, and if you want to subscribe, smash the like button uh, and share far and wide.